Well, alrighty, friends, boys and girls, and loved ones. Um, we got the MS two hundred and ninety back in the shop. I just ran uh, ran it for about twenty minutes, and I got this weird problem showing up. And the problem is, if you can see in here, see if I can get that right there. She's loading up with chips under the bar, and then that binds up the chain. So I have to back this off. In order. I think you loosen that too much. Yeah, it's still stuck. And, uh, okay. That's just loose. Tighten this one back down a bit. Put that one back in there. And I'm drawing the bar back. There we go. And then it releases, right? But look at all those chips in there. See the chips? So if anybody's got any ideas what I can do to alleviate that and it's stuck on the bottom too wow I don't know is this thing getting oil could that be our problem Are we really you know what the best way to do we're going to take the bar off and then we're going to run it without a bar and see if she's oiling because I thought I saw a spray coming off and there's oil in the, yeah, it's getting oil. It's oily. Look at that. Oh, yeah. There's lots of oil there. All right, so we won't do that. I won't put a spark plug in it. I got my air filters. All right, so we're going to put a new spark plug in it, but the clutch is okay. It's moving. It's just a, maybe the bar is toast. Yeah, I'll bet you that's what it is. She's going to need a new bar, I think. There's debris getting in the bar. Look at that. Every time you pop it, wood flies out. Yeah. Huh. Let me see if I can get this free. I can't do it with one hand. Hang on a second. I think we determined it is not the oil pump it's flowing like it's pouring out which is good but that nose sprocket i'm going to show you something what i did was i drizzled some uh oil into it and if you don't like the fact that i'm not using a tripod today too bad and i ran it up and down on the wood like this to get it to roll and it rolls but it's got a couple of stiff spots in it I don't know. Uh, I'm probably looking for a definitive answer on whether or not the bar is toast. It runs good, but I think there's a bog every once in a while, and it might be related back to this issue with the nose bar. And it's not a motor bog, it's a load bog. So I'm going to put it back together, run it some more in the pile, and then uh, we'll see where we go from there. Maybe I'll set up the tripod. And then we'll do it we'll do that but it is flowing good good amount of oil so i know the oil pump's working um everything seems to be okay so i'm not 100 percent sure what's going on i ordered some oversized dogs for it just for the heck of it and those will be coming in so let's get the spark plug changed and uh the air filter and we'll go from there all right and then we'll see what happens with the ms290 that i bought on Marketplace. It is cutting wood fine. No issues there. Uh, like I said, just that little bog. And I cut some big stuff. Full width of the bar. 
So, um, the air filter change is pretty easy. What do I got here? As soon as you have the tool. I seem to put my tool down. There it is. So let's do all this with the tool because in you're out in the woods, that's what you're going to be doing. So there's the air summer, summer winter um, device. Now I'm going to wash this air filter, obviously, because they are washable. And I'm going to wash it in some probably uh, uh, dish, dish soap. And uh, I don't have compressed air in the shed. So that's why I'm not blowing it down. But let's just say you're out in the bush. And I know you forgot to bring your air compressor with you. And you don't have any compressed air. So you can't blow nothing out. Um, so then what you're going to do. Is you're going to have to put in. Let's say you want to put in. A, you have two air filters. You got to swap out air filter. For your cleaned one. So let's just say that's going to happen. So guess what you don't have. You don't have compressed air. So you got to do this carefully. Oof. Yeah, that's plugged up. And let's just wipe this down because we can. Sorry. Again, I'm not doing this with the tripod today because I'm not set up and it's too hard in this little shed to do that. So while we got the air filter out, let's pull out the spark plug. Because I know it was a used plug because I put it in there when I bought it off the gentleman. And again, did I get it? We're using all the, yes I did. We're using all the tools that, that, that you would take out of the bush. So we don't have our electric impact guns. We don't have none of that fun stuff. It's a champion plug. RCJY7 and uh, you focus there you go and there you can see what it looks like I'm not a real fan of champions I don't think the spark plug has any issue at all I will save that for an emergency plug but I do have lots of new ones and that's what's going in there let's get a focus BPEM R7A and uh yeah, I hope I don't get a community strike for the LaFowl language. My wife yelling at the dogs. I'm going to put that in there. You know what? I'm going to get everybody upset. Stand by for a second. Just because I can. Stand by. All right. Make everybody insane. I put any C's on the spark plug threads. Can you see it? It was there. You go. Because that's what I do. I know you guys are all going to go insane. Tell me I can't do that. While well, I'm screwing that in, that's what we're dealing with. I think I'm going to end up. Let me know in the comments what you think about the bar thing. Maybe I will put a new bar in it. Again. I'm just doing this with what I have. Now it's got a, a gasket in it and that spark plug. There. So I'm, I know I've compressed the gasket, which is what you're supposed to do. And uh, that's good. Spark plug wires back on. <sighs> it's cold out today, but it's not super cold. So I think I'm going to put it back in summer mode. Goes like that, right? I can't see without my glasses. Yeah, that's summer mode, so it goes like this. Thing's confusing. I kept trying to. This thing here is. I kept trying to do this all the time. It makes me crazy. Yeah, like I said, uh, the uh, I kind of like this air filter design. It's not too bad. Captivated bolt nuts, I guess. Barrel nuts in there. Yeah, I don't know. Steel come out with some pretty cool stuff every once in a while. But does it fit? 
and tell you a secret this is not a steel part oh look at that now right down in there here let me take this back off see that port right there you got to make sure that protuberance is sticking inside there you got to make sure she's inserted all the way for your pleasure because we don't want it out there it just popped in I don't know if you can see that. Watch. Watch. Watch it go in. Right there. It's in all the way. And that's what you need. It's got to be in all the way. Because halfway is not good enough. And then that's a matter of angle. I think I'm on there. I think I'm on there. that's in so that's good okay I'm gonna pause the video here put this all back together because you don't need to see me doinking with this and then we'll uh, we'll make another attempt stand by all right she's all back together again uh, chain tension I got it set uh, I'm gonna, I lied to you guys I said I wasn't gonna do anything I wouldn't do in the bush but I had to because I took the scrunch tool and I tried to clean out the bar grooves and I couldn't get a lot of kife in there. Now, I don't know if that was from when I got it uh, or it's something that happened. So we're going to have to run it again and see what went on. But um, the scrunch tool just couldn't get all the way down at, at the bottom end where it runs up to the clutch right there. So, um, yeah, I did lie. I blew it out with some compressed air. But that's just for the test. Now the nose sprocket spins back and forth super free in one spot, not so much in the other. I'm going to run that for a bit more, see what happened to it, see if we can get it to run. Uh, I'll do some more wood cutting. Uh, you don't want to see me. I mean, I could set up a tripod and show you cutting wood, but if there's something crazy going on, I'll do it. If it just runs normal, then why bother? Because you just probably all get sick and tired of looking at people cut wood on, on the internet. So I'll let me go back to the pile and uh, I'll let you know what happens. Stand by. All right, <coughs> boys and girls. Okay, I just finished uh, running the whole tank of gas through this thing. And uh, chain tension, I tweaked it. It still rolls free, but wow, the bar is hot. So let's have a look. Uh, I think it might be time for a new oil pump. Um, we're, uh, what are we into this thing now? 200 and... Uh, when we got into it. Filters, uh, let's say spark plug. So we're into it. I bought a chain, but I didn't use it. And I can use it for either saw, so I don't count. I guess it's just a spare. So we're around 225, I think, give or take. Uh, the new air filter helped it run better. I think. Sometimes this stuff's anecdotal, right? You don't know 100% for sure. It just feels that way. And you go with your feel. Let's see what we got. And this was right heaping full. And it is just about completely empty. So we're going to rule out that there's anything wrong with the oil pump. I mean, I was working it pretty hard. Let me know what you guys think. Like, how hot should the bar be? And the heat seems to be pretty even. But it did use the complete tank of oil with a little bit of reserve. Not much, though. And there, I don't know if you can see down the hole. The gas tank's empty, so I'll get some gas. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know. We, uh, we're looking at the, uh, oh, I'm out of breath. Look at the wood. Uh, there's the, the splitter. We gotta do some work on it. I gotta get this wood put away. I mean, I gotta get some wood cut for the winter. And, uh, 
you know this stuff isn't 100 percent dry either i mean they got dry ends you can see that here but it doesn't go deep they don't dry that well when you leave them in a log right you guys know that so i mean some of it's checked up pretty good but i'm gonna keep cutting i didn't know that look at that you could actually grow bud light in a log pile wow i didn't know that. look at that somebody must have dropped a bud light seed and it grew amazing anyway uh i'm gonna keep bucking through this so what the plan is you guys is to get this spot cleared out so i can put a new row of wood in so i'm gonna get all this wood cut and buck get my next row in right with that tree you can see my skids are ready I'll come out here because I want to move that stuff away. I had two more rows last year. That's where my big log pile was. If you go back to the when we first moved in, there was a big log pile where the gravel is. And I'm going to move the sled in the shop. It's got to get some work on it. This row is leaving. This row is going to get filled in. This row here, we're going to fill in. This one's gone. Um, so that's what I'm working on. I got to finish these two rows. And they're actually rows of two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have six rows um, done, hopefully, if I don't die first. And then that'll be it. And then the next row is going to go right here where all this is. And there's my skids. So that's the plan. I'm by here we're by myself cutting all this. So. Uh, I had to ditch a social function today with my friend and uh but i got nobody jake's working a crazy shift and this has got to get done so and we still got burns to do i got to switch over to tractor i got the back all as leveled as it's going to be this year knock down a couple more shitty trees oh sorry crappy trees and this is where we're at okay so summary the MS290. I think it's still okay at the price point that we're at with having to put some parts in it. I can't count a spark plug because it's a wear item. Uh, what else? The air filter? Meh. Um, you could call it a wear item or you could call it a replacement part. The chain, I'm looking at it. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's still some jankiness going on here. It cuts pretty good. But it was really crazy when I got it. There was all kinds of radius in it and stuff. And I got to check the uh, depth on it. So I'll do a chain sharpen on it. But not today. I'm going to finish up. And yeah, there's the crack in the case that we knew about. Uh, so far it hasn't migrated. I don't know if I, I might trickle some, uh, sorry, trickle some JB or weld a pot. I don't know what this plastic will take epoxy. But, uh, yeah, anyway, everything else seems to be decent. So I'm going to call it a win for now. I'm not really going to complain about it. Um, it's doing the job. I put, this is tank number three since I bought it. I put one tank of true fuel through it, clean up the carburetor, and it helped tremendously. And uh, this is my second tank of uh, uh, Amsoil Sabre gasoline mix i did i'm not gonna lie i did mix it 50 to 1 and i know as you it's recommended 101 for that product that's what it's designed for but i'm still a little bit old school in that point i love the amsoil products uh but given given the cost of a saw i don't know maybe i'll try it we'll see but right now this is what i'm up to this is what i've done uh you see it could been in both piles the pile is getting smaller but I'm going to keep cutting at that and make some more room. So I'm going to close this video by telling everybody thank you for subscribing. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. This winter, we're going to have some projects in the shop. Um, so we're going to see how that goes. Uh, I still got to get the insulation guy. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry, I'm a little bit off tangent. I need insulation bad. Anyway, that's what I'm up against. 
we'll see you guys soon uh like subscribe ring the bell come back and see how we progress uh update on the rabbits they're doing fine at jake's house they're no longer here i'm gonna work on cleaning up the shop i just gotta get this get ahead on this wood project i'm way behind so i gotta stay on that and then we'll get on to some projects but okay again let's get a shot of the old ms290 facebook marketplace super saw uh, we're calling her a win thanks see you soon bye bye